Remember when the term skyscraper just meant a really tall structure whose height was enough to make you ooh and ah? While some of today's most prominent proposed skyscrapers are notable solely for their height, the futures are truly imaginative, to the point of appearing to belong in a sci-fi film. Stay tuned as we take a look at the world's strangest skyscrapers of the future. But before we continue, remember to subscribe. Starting us off, the Squall Tower in Dubai is designed to rotate with the wind. Squalls are quick, severe storms. The suitably named Squall Tower combines modern skyscraper form with an autonomous purpose. The parametric architecture is similar to a windmill or a vertical wind turbine. Squall Tower uses a parametric design to mimic the system and generate electricity. The rotation of the building powers a base turbine. The Bahrain World Trade Center has three windmill rotors on its facade as part of BAP's sustainability and environmental impact policy. The twisted style of the Squall Tower is being developed. A lustrous, tree-like spine connects three helical, twisting masses. Each branch is supported by a rotating base and a vertically connected floor plate. The rotating tower of the commercial building may generate power and alter the cityscape of Dubai. The ribbon-like design of the skyscraper. Squall Tower's segmental helix rotates in 48 hours, unlike windmills. If optimized, such a structure might be self-sufficient in energy output and utilization while having a negative carbon footprint by distributing excess electricity to city blocks around it. Which is critical, the possibilities for Squall Tower are endless. Next, Wassel Tower The 302-meter-high Wassel Tower is located in prime Dubai. The Wassel Tower's ceramic face will be tall. This structure stands out in the desert because of its shade and cooling systems. Dubai's adaptable skyline promotes mobility, sustainability, and opportunity. This magnificent structure is surrounded by Dubai's Burj Khalifa and City Walk development. The skyscraper connects these two major Dubai attractions, attracting visitors from all over the world. Wassel Tower, the world's tallest ceramic facade, has delicate ceramic details. Because clay was the primary material, the facade fins will be made of low-tech, glazed ceramic. This tiny fin lace conceals geometry. These fins shade the tower's facade and reflect light deep within. The parametric design model determined the fin size, material, and direction. Self-generated light patterns pulse with the city on this holistic facade. Good for the people, good for the environment. Influence interior and exterior scale, lighting, design, and engineering. The skyscraper's boulevard is stopped with infinity pools. The building's exterior balconies reveal its interior and form a green vein. This region's distinctive boulevard connects inside and outside. Clean materials, interactive lighting, and aware acoustic enhanced guest experience in public areas. Moving on, we look at Tower C. Zaha Hadid Architects released its design for the new Tower C after winning the architectural competition. The futuristic structure will be located at China's Shenzhen Bay Super Headquarters Base, a business and financial center serving the Great Bay Area of Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau. It will include office space, shopping, entertainment, dining venues, a hotel, a convention center, and a cultural facilities with exhibition galleries. With a manicured terrace that integrates with the adjoining parks, the property works as a threshold between the city's intended north-south green axis and the adjacent corridor. Its dual towers, which stands 1,312 feet tall, optimize efficiencies with a double insulated, unitized glass curtain wall for self-shading, natural ventilation, and real-time environmental controls to reduce energy consumption, as well as photovoltaics and water collection and recycling systems for the district. Furthermore, aquaponic gardens on all terrace levels will naturally filter out toxins from the outside environment and reduce inside pollutants. Following that, Hongqin International Financial Center, or ADIS. From the Pearl River estuary, ADIS 339 meter tall, Hongqin International Financial Center Tower offers views of Macau. The swirling curve of the volume represents the region's power. Zhuhai's Hongqin Island Financial District will connect to Hong Kong, Macau, and other Great Bay Area cities. The city is becoming a growth engine for China's national development aspirations, flanked by sea and hills. For your convenience, the podium includes retail and traditional areas. The homes in the tower are on the roof and have views of the sea, while the offices are in the center. It was inspired by the Song Dynasty Chinese painting, The Nine Dragons. Dragons emerging from the sea represents new life, conquering challenges and growing strong. The tower's graceful curves and dramatic twists now reflects the sea's undulations. Four vertical blocks rising to the sky and building the tower signify Hongqin's talents and riches. The subtropical climate of Zhuhai needs a typhoon-proof wind load. The design team meticulously modified the building's orientation and entrance to improve pedestrian comfort and reduce wind drag. Next, Sarkel Style 
Sarko style tower, a 210 meter or 689 foot speculative skyscraper designed by Turkish architecture firm Hayri Attack Architectural Studio was recently revealed in photographs. The future representations of this amusing tower are heavily inspired by biology. The term sarcomeres refer to a complex unit of striated muscular tissue. The organically connected bridges that span the tower's central emptiness are meant to look like frozen rod-shaped muscular fibers. Sarko's style tower's architecture emphasizes this design move even more by building a center void supported by a structural tube on each corner. As a result, the emphasis is drawn to the dynamic forms in the building center. While Sarko's style tower is an unusual structure, Biological inspiration is a reasonably common approach in design. Biomimicry is the design of architecture, goods, materials, and conceptual ideas influenced by biology. Aeroplanes are a classic example of humans exploiting actual biological processes to create artificial products, drawing inspiration from flying animals such as birds. Architecture uses biomimicry to alleviate environmental problems, such as the conceptual tower project, mandragore, or to discover creative inspiration. Moving on, Gary Project. The Gary Project will build a 298-meter and 262-meter skyscraper at King Street West and Mid Mervish Way. The first tower will house apartments, a hotel, and an art gallery, while the second will house the new campus of OCAD University. The Gary Project's height and density were approved in 2017, and this update shows architectural changes like rotational floor plates and a textured metal and glass facade. I wanted the two towers to have their personalities, but I also wanted them to talk to one another, producing a dynamic and changeable addition to the skyline depending on where you were viewing them in the city," said Gary, who turns 92 at the end of the month. Since 2012, Gary has modified the Gary Project at King Street West, building three towers from 80 to 85 meters tall. An early 2013 revision added a ribbon-like facade connecting the three towers. In 2014, three buildings were replaced by two, increasing their height while preserving the Princess of Wales Theatre next door. Finally, O Tower the OPPO Global Mobile Terminal R&D Headquarters, or O-Tower, has 161,000 square meters of office and R&D space and 68,000 square meters of retail space. The cylindrical tower's massive O-Cut provides the firm with flexible floor space, reduced energy use, and maximizes natural light. A whirling infinity loop surrounds the entrance, and its southern side bends down towards the earth to optimize views. The twisting roof's tilting loop creates a social shortcut for OPPO employees and collaborators connecting the bottom to the pinnacle, says practice founder Bjarke Engels. Each element is intrinsically connected, forming a melting loop apparent at all scales, from the urban landmark to the human experience, becoming a representation of the design simplicity intrinsic to the OPPO brand. Shallower floors will house standard office layouts, while deeper floors will hold OPPO's research and development divisions. A green patio would connect lobbies to the Archeum space. The conference, exhibition, and workshop facilities are planned for the three top levels. We envisioned OPPO's future workplace as commercially, ecologically, and socially sustainable. The compact form of folding in on itself gives vast flexible floor plates with the daylight access and fresh air of a slender tower, says Ingles. So that marks the end of today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on the section below. Thanks for watching.